Peace and blessings, everyone. I am Michael B. Beckwith. And today I want to introduce you to the concept and the practice of spiritual shape-shifting. Now, you may have heard of shape-shifting in shamanic lore, in which individuals shape-shift their body temples into a, 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 an animal or something to that effect. I'm talking about spiritual shape-shifting, in which you begin to vibrate um, with something that's high and pure, something that's whole, something that's healthy. You begin to feel into that, and then you begin uh, to shift that energy to an area of your life or your body temple that may not be in alignment with, with health or wholeness or well-being. Now, it is, it is very useful because it's not conceptual. It's not uh, something you have to memorize. It's just something that you have to practice. Many years ago, I did it with my knees. I had an injury to my left knee. I was hobbling home. So I thought about my right knee. My right knee was feeling good. And so I thought about the right knee. I felt the expansion of that knee being healthy. And then I suddenly shifted my awareness to my left knee. And by the time I got home, uh, the inflammation had gone down and I was walking normally. I shape-shifted the energy. Please be reminded of this. We are energetic beings, we are vibrational beings. We're not merely flesh and blood and bone. Everything is vibrating. So you're literally training yourself to hold a high vibration by concentrating on one area of your life that's vibrating high and shifting it to another area of your life that may be vibrating low. Doing that a number of times so that you actually feel that other area of your life, the vibration that's out of alignment, vibrating higher, vibrational match ensues, change takes place. Let's practice it for a moment. Let's uh, close your eyes for just a moment. We're gonna do this briefly and just consider an area of your life that's high vibing. That when you think about this area, expansion, a smile comes to your face, you're feeling a level of mastery. Feel that frequency. Now, consider an area of your life that you would say needs improvement, needs a higher frequency. Think about that area, don't let it pull you, just think about it. Now, when you hear me snap my finger, shift the energy to the area that's contracted. Breath, breathe in, shift the area, and begin to think about that area, feel about that area, from the level of expansion. There's no rule against doing this. You're practicing energetic shape-shifting. And just be with the high vibe of the area of your life where there's mastery, but shifting it to the area where there is some kind of diminishment. Don't let yourself contract. Stay expanded. You're shape-shifting that area. So that when you think about that area, you're not just thinking about it, you're feeling expansion. You're feeling expanded awareness. Hang with me for just a moment in that area. So that the area of mastery and the area of diminishment is now vibrating similarly. It begins with your thought, it begins with your feeling, expansion is happening, you're shifting. Come back to the area of mastery, feel the vibration, shift it to the area of diminishment, notice if there's a change. Feel them both simultaneously, expansion, enthusiasm, happiness, mastery. Give yourself permission for the area that has been diminished to flower and flow. Slowly open your eyes, but hold the frequency. Do this a couple of times a day. And then watch as the new vibration begins to draw into your life opportunities, possibilities, and a great feeling tone. You can become a master of your own vibration with intention and with practice. I dare you to try it on a regular basis. I dare you to give up the woe is me and step into the wow, it's me. 
If you have felt into what I was vibrationally putting down, I'm inviting you into the masterclass where we begin to explore this and much more in order to transform your life, for you to participate in your own transformation, in your own unfolding. <laughs> you know you want to do this, so you might as well sign up. I'll see you there.